This story begins in the coldest inhabited city in the world, Yakutsk, with winter temperatures routinely reaching below minus 50 degrees, about the same as Mars, home to over 300,000 people, people who love their hometown and enjoy their life despite the harsh climate. <laughs> this is Nikolai. For almost 50 years, Nikolai starts his days with an ice bath. But it wasn't always like that. When he was in middle school, he was very weak and often got cold. One day, his teachers told him he should toughen up by covering himself in snow. Since then, Nikolai's life completely changed. Now he's 60 years old, physically strong and never gets ill. He's also helping many people to become healthier, treat their addictions, depressions and ailments through this his own psychological and spiritual methods. Nikolai is entering the water slowly. It's important to breathe calmly without rushing. Rushing can cause gasping and cold water shock, which can be very dangerous. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you notice Nikolai's hat, people who do ice bathing in Russia call themselves walruses. That's why Nikolai wears a walrus hat. Nikolai is in a hurry to get dressed. Being outside wet and without warm clothes is extremely dangerous. Now one of the Nikolai students is ready for an ice bath. Students start practicing every day from the end of summer, so their body gets used to the cold. Huh? 
After he puts on warm clothes, he starts exercising his muscles to generate body heat. Nikolais is also dreaming to build his own practicing center to help more people to become healthier and stronger. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can feel the spirit of the Yakutian people. Bye bye! Kursio Khadiri! It's 7 am in the remote icy land of Yakutia. Sardana and Andrian wake up early in the morning to start their daily duties. Despite the harsh climate, most people in the village are engaged in cattle and horse breeding. Tending animals in this severe climate requires hard work, but it suits the people who live here because the hard work keeps them warm in the freezing temperatures. Sardana and Andrian are just about to enter their cow sheds. Traditional Yakutian cow sheds like this one are made of wood and in order to protect it from the cold, they apply cow dung to the wall which helps to keep the cow sheds warm even through the coldest winters. Sardana and Andrian raise cows, chicken and horses, but most of their living comes from their 20 cows. Every day they milk a cow and Sardana must make sure that the cow's under and teats are clean. Today they have collected about 40 liters of milk, enough for them to sell, with plenty left to keep for themselves. After they milk a cow, Sardana let the baby cow to drink a little bit milk from his mother. Usually, a newborn cow is weaned off milk at 8 weeks. Sardana and Andrian have a big family. They have five children. Three of them already have their own families. One is studying in the university far away from the village, and the youngest daughter is a student in the local middle school. Now Sardana is ready to process the milk. The first thing that she does is to purify the milk by straining it. After that, she leaves the milk to be cooled for two hours. Meanwhile, Andrian is preparing hay to feed his cows. Every year, during the short summer, from July till September, Andrian and his family work hard to harvest all the hay they will need for the winter month. Each cow needs to eat about 10 kg of hay per day, so Andrian and his family must preserve around 50 tons of hay in total to ensure the cows have enough food for the whole winter. Before the cows go outside, Andrian covers their teeth to protect them from the frostbite and the extreme cold. The Yakut breed of cattle has adapted well to the harsh climate. They have excellent thermal regulation and a slow metabolism, allowing them to survive at low temperatures. Yüten tuttarağın, yüten eriyengin, beyen tuttarağın, hüyet atıklığın, uba atıklığın, dön oruğlar görmezsağın, ve bir dokud. After the milk has been pasteurized, Sardana separates the milk into the heavier fat and the lighter milk to produce both cream and skim milk. Yakutian cuisine is varied and includes meat and fish, 
but generally relies on dairy products. Sardana and Andrian head back to their cow sheds to continue their daily work. Sardana feeds a calf, a baby cow, from the bottle. Because some calves' mothers are producing insufficient milk and they need to be raised with special attention. Meanwhile, Andrian is cleaning out the cow sheds and collecting the cow's dung. Andrian believes that the cow's dung is a useful material that helps in a variety of ways. Cow dung is packed with high levels of minerals and nutrition and is one of the best natural fertilizer to use in organic gardening. <laughs> Now it's time to feed their horses. Sardana and Andrian raised them in the open field. There are no fences and the horses are free to move around, but they have one stallion, a male horse, is looking after the stud. He is protecting them and helping them to find the best grass to eat. Yakutian horses are very intelligent and when it's time to eat, the horses come back to the special place and wait for food. Yakutian horses are native of Siberia and their roots go back centuries. Their thick, hairy coats, sturdy stature, and their ability to effectively forage for vegetation in deep snow allows them to survive without shelter for months at a time in temperatures that plunk to minus 70 degrees. After feeding the horses, it's drinking time from the cattle. In most Yakut villages, there are no water treatment facilities, because pipes can freeze easily in the cold. So, Andrian and Sardana have to walk their cattle about 4 kilometers to the lake every day. When they get to the frozen lake, Andrian makes a hole in the ice so the cattle can drink the water. In December, the ice beneath Andrian can be up to 2 meters thick. <laughs> Since the young calves are not able to be out in the cold for very long, Andrian instead prepares water for them by collecting the snow from his yard. <coughs> Andrian 
bu barda var. Et, yüt, hüyegey. Bu şu iyi dongorunda orada. The snow in the Yakut village has many uses and can be used for taking shower and cleaning the house. For drinking water, locals are using the blocks of ice that had been harvested from the river nearby. Yakutian dogs like Yakutian cattle are also special breeds that can cope with low temperatures. Yakutian dogs have a double coat with a thick downy undercoat the top coat here is longer and more coarse than the undercoat. And they are very versatile breed, able to be used as hunters, sled pullers and herders. Andrian is a very talented artist. Everything in his yard was built by him. He likes painting, making things out of wood and horns that he finds in the forest. Min kobim diyenin tan tuvak ruhudur bunu evliyim. Elbette ruhudur ruhudur davetim. Üksülere badarakka hülyeyim var Allah. Hatta onunla bu muhanan onamanın korobun. O beni derim ya. Pasivişinlik derin diye. On tukalarım hemen yübüleyi derken badarak bol Allah. Hatta horoğa atılanlar gün. After a busy morning, it's finally time for lunch. The house is filled with the rich smell of Sardana's cooking. She has prepared a delicious beef soup, traditional pancakes, jam made of berries that had been harvested during the summer, whipped cream with frozen berries, and even a Yakutian delicacy, raw frozen horse meat. Everything is made fresh from their farm. <laughs> While farming in the extreme condition is challenging, the snow and the cold doesn't stop the hardy farmers of Yakutia from creating a simple happy life from their families, full of good foods and laughter. They have daily routines, animals to raise, and a close-knit community they can trust. In their tiny frozen icy village, they live a beautiful,